Hey guys, it's Adapter Formast and welcome to a new The Sims 4 Get Together Speedbuild. So today I'm back in The Sims 4 Get Together, the brand new expansion pack for The Sims 4. And after the DJ Hangout, today I'm building the Underground Nightclub. So, of course, we've got the addition of clubs and the DJ skill to The Sims 4 Get Together. So therefore, I thought it would be awesome to first up build a DJ Hangout for the DJ Club to chill out. So I've so far built that already and today I'm building the Nightclub. And not just a regular light club of course we've got those awesome glass floors in the sims 4 now and i thought it would be cool to use those in order to create kind of a hole in the uh, lot or actually just the flat level of the lot and then add that in there and then you can actually see into the basement which is awesome one bad thing is that you cannot actually see up into the sky from the basement that's kind of a glitch either from the uh, expansion pack or they've just decided to not add that because it was not possible or something but you'll see that in the screenshots later on but as you've noticed i've really been into the dj skill of the sims for get together so far simply because i'm really into djs i really like uh, edm music and djs and what they do in their lives and everything so therefore i've also started a let's play in which i follow martin garrix which all of you most likely know as a very famous dutch dj i follow him around with uh, the dj squad which is formed uh, because of course we can have friend clubs uh, so clubs in the sims 4 get together now uh, and in his squad we have armin van buren and hardwell and a female unknown uh, dj and uh, maybe Afrojack and chester will be added later on so kind of a dutch uh, family of djs in the sims 4 and i thought it would be cool to start such a let's play so i did and yesterday I uploaded the very first part so I would really like to ask you to check it out and just leave your feedback on it because so far I've really gotten very much feedback already which I'm very happy with because really many people watched it, liked it and uh, just gave their comments and feedback. I got some really good tips on how I could improve the let's play and ju just also the gameplay and just some suggestions for what I should do in the gameplay and I was really happy to see that. So please leave your comments on that video. I'll link it in the uh, in the yeah, description of this video actually and then you can check it out because that would really help me out. But anyways, that was just a very short plug for my own uh, let's play because I really want to get let's plays going on my channel and especially this one because i'm really enjoying it so far i've recorded the second part already that's most likely going to be uploaded tomorrow so stay tuned for that uh, i just really like the idea of following someone who's famous or actually famous in real life of course and uh, just uh, kind of having him uh, because martin garris he turned out to really look the same as he does in real life so i was kind of proud of that because i'm not a very experienced uh yeah you know sims creator when it comes to a creative sim i'm quite an experienced builder but not really an experienced uh yeah creative simmer but that turned out to be pretty good and i also did my best on hard one Armin van bruren but um yeah here we're building the nightclub which is all about uh or which it's all about in this video because uh yeah this First up started as a room build, I felt like I'd only just uh, uploaded the speed build two days ago already, which was that hangout for the DJs on the beach. Uh, but then I, uh, therefore I thought, you know, I'm going to do a room build, which is going to be enjoyed as well. And I'm just going to build, uh, yeah, one room of a nightclub under the ground and then it all escalated it became huge and i realized that i could actually just better uh make this an entire club and call this an entire speed build because it really is i only had to add like a toilet and one more thing i believe because this nightclub even has an awesome pool with very many windows in there you can see it over there and you can pe see people swim there which is awesome you have very many cool views from the uh yeah, the glass floors as i said unfortunately not into the uh, sky because otherwise of course it's a nightclub you are there in night or in the night time and therefore it would be awesome if you could see the sky uh, like the stars while all the sims are dancing but unfortunately that's not possible but maybe in a future update that will be possible of course you'll be able to download this uh speed build or not the speed build but just simply the um yeah you can simply download that the room or it's not a room it's a residential lot to be very precise you can download it into your game and then you can use it for your own uh yeah let's play or let's play just simply your own gameplay when you're playing this game uh and yeah if you by the way use it for a let's play uh, let's play please let me know if you put it on youtube because i'd really like to see how you use it 
But anyways, I'll most likely be using it in my own Let's Play as well. Here I'm currently building kind of the hangout area for the uh, DJs. Of course, they've got their own house hangout, but this is kind of their private room where they can chill out as the DJ club or the DJ masters i'm not really sure yeah i believe i called them the dj squad because i really feel like squad is so much cooler than clubs so therefore i decided to call them squads um instead of clubs but anyways as you can see there i'm just do adding some more detailed items it's very luxurious very modern this area this build just in general which i'm really happy with here you see me placing the lot in uh, the modern district area of windenburg because i initially placed it in um where was it in the highlands of Windenburg but then that was because I thought it would be a room build and then of course it wouldn't really matter what the exterior is about and uh, now the exterior isn't the best part either it's just something very simple I must say I've not really spent that much time doing it but still you know it looks better if I've placed it in the right area of the uh, neighborhood or just the right neighborhood of the world, Windenburg, which is, by the way, such an awesome area. But um, yeah, therefore I decided to move it over there uh, and I'm just adding some artwork. So it's very simple, as you can see, nothing too special, but I really thought that would be cool because in this way you would be able to see very much of the glass and therefore you could also see into the club, which yeah, I thought would be cool. So um, of course there's furthermore a bar and here I'm adding like toilets and a sink and like an extra table just because I realized that this was not suitable as a nightclub yet because it did not have those items in the uh, lot. So I had to add those and now it's fully functional. So if you downloaded it, there's no problem. But uh, yeah, in the end, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. It really turned out cool. And I'm very happy uh, that the interior, which is normally not my strongest part, turned out um, yeah, so cool. I, at least I think it turned out really cool. But anyways, here you see the screenshots again, not an overview video, simply because that takes much more time. And of course, it's the week of the release, so I want to upload as much as possible. And therefore, screenshots are just a little bit easier for me. But anyways, this was kind of a short speed build, you could say that, but that was because it's kind of an escalated room build. But still, I hope you really enjoyed it. And please check out my Let's Play, because that would be awesome. Really, if we could get that Let's Play going, I personally really enjoyed it already. And if you could enjoy it as well that would just be so awesome but thanks for watching this i hope you enjoyed watching it and then i hope to see you back later